Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Talk podcast or oh, a YouTube channel. What is Jaja? What is Jaja? And I'm not alone. My name is Bokang Gianni, first of all. And join with me today on my left, I have. Ndokozo. Hi. Hey, what's up? Danko. And on my right, I have. Oratile. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm dead. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to start off. Um, the podcast for Icebreaker. I want to know what's a song that's been on your mind this week. Okay. Yeah. This one is gonna be a little sad, but I've been listening to like uh, Coldplay, and it's Yellow. Like, mm. it's not the best <laughs> song to be vibing out to, but like that's what's been on my heart, and that's what I've been listening to recently. Yeah. Okay, you are. A... I'm really trying. <laughs> We'll go with Jola. Jola? Yeah, but that's been your song for the year, not for the it week. It shall be for the week. <laughs> the and the days and the years. I'm so dead. Okay, we're going to start with the chats now. Obviously, this, this episode is centered more on varsity, career, yeah. dreams, yeah. that kind of situation. And yeah, we put like a pale. You understand? And I want to know, new year, new me. Is there anything new you guys are coming, new energies you're coming with this year, new ideas you want to jump into this year? What's the chat? Uh, for me, definitely, yes. I don't want to say new year, new me, because it's all the same me, but, like, better. You know, like, I, I want to keep my old self, too. But, like, we're, like, advancing. We're leveling up a little bit. New stuff. YouTube is looking great. It's we're, good. like, going through mm-hmm. nice things. Um, I can't say too much yet, because... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but you have to stay tuned. Um, being more intentional, you yeah. know, being more intentional with my life. I feel like last year was a lot of go with the flow and like figuring things out. Although I'm still figuring it out now, I'm being like a lot more intentional with the things that I can control. Yeah. So that's me. Do you have a word yeah. for the year? Intentional. Ah, Intentionality, like crazy. With everything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tough. <laughs> What about you, Ara? Uh, new vibes you're coming with and your award for the year? New vibes I'm coming with, well, um, I'm a graduate. Woo! Okay. Love it. Shine. 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 Yes, um, so now I'm working towards getting an internship and a job, you know. Fizz. So that is, that is pretty much my life right now. I'm trying to find a job <laughs> and I'm working on skills to, you know, get to where I want to be because at the end of the day I am working towards towards um a particular career in um development so I yeah word of the day word of the word of the year of the year yeah what's your word for the year word for the year is mm. tough one Let's just go with um, enjoy. 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 Yeah, enjoy. I like that. What about you? Me? Yeah, what's on? Yo, I think yeah. this year um, I want to step out more. Like I came out, I came in this year saying like whatever opportunity that lands in front of me, like jump at it. Mm. Whether you're great at it, whether you suck at it, I mean, you never know yeah. what that opportunity can bring birth to. Or, mm. So I was just like, oh, we're just wrong yeah. with, with what you have. And I've, I think I've always been of that mentality, but this year I want to be more intentional with it. So my word for the year is intentional as well. So going into the year... Please. Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, so this year I really want to be more intentional with everything. But that also stemmed from mainly um, how whack... Uh, not whack, but how I downplayed a lot of things. Like I wasn't very like straight in saying I want to do this and I'm going to uh. rock, you know? Like I did it, but I, like I did it half-heartedly. Mm. So this year I want to do everything like intentionally. So whatever I'm doing, it has to be intentional mm. and I'm going to do it 100%. Mm. You do it or you don't do it. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's me this year. It's going to be a good one. And then obviously starting with the chat, um, we're going to be speaking about, you know, just your like experiences and dreams now. But I want to know from you guys, like when you were young, what was the one or few careers that you wanted to pursue? And I'm meaning like career days, what did you dress up as? What did you, not what your mom told you to dress up as, yeah. what you dressed up as or wanted to <laughs> dress up as. And then you were like, this is the career I want. All right. Um, initially, I wanted to be a policeman. 
That was what I was telling you. Crazy. And then I sort of just started dwindling in like tech stuff. You okay. know, I every time I talk about the when I was young and tech and, and um a job I wanted to do. Yeah. There was a time when there was something going on with the TV. You know, you know, when the parents don't know what to do with the TV. <laughs> so you go and you click your button and they're like, Oh wow, you're going to tech. So then that was my mentality as well. <laughs> that okay, that's another job I can't go into. Yeah. On career day, um I just up as what? I think I dressed up as someone that was in in creative arts, like drawings and oh, wow. an artist. Yeah, I think that's what I, I dressed up as. So yeah, those are my Ndwana days. Ndwana days, nice. yeah. what about you? And it hasn't changed, has it? Besides, besides the policeman. Yeah, besides the policeman, creative, I'm still there. I'm still, yeah. still pursuing the creative stuff. Um, tech, I did a degree and I'm, I'm working towards getting a job in tech how's the job hunting going it's hunting <laughs> it's hunting <laughs> it'll hunt till the early in the year so it's valid, valid. yeah so we'll find something yeah well, that works with dreams. me of course yeah. i really don't want to pick something that doesn't work with me that i'm not mm. happy with so, so you won't just take any job i really don't think i can take any job in this economy I really let's let's think, let's let's. I love I'm this. telling you. I, I hear you. I, I, I hear you, and I'm all for it. Choose you. Don't take anything that's not for you. You know, if it's not your value, but in this economy, <laughs> huh? In my pastor's <laughs> economy, <laughs> I okay. There's a goal I'm going for, right? Okay. Development. I don't think I can go into something that is not in that space. Okay. Because then I'm, I'm, I'm very sure I'm going to deter from it. Once I get into something, let's say I'll go into like, let's say being a tech, in tech support. Because mm-hmm. that's very different from what I want to do. Sure. Going to tech support. Now I'm going to now engulf myself in tech support, mm-hmm. learn everything tech support. And I might not get out of that. Mm-hmm. So I want to do what I plan to, to do. Do. Okay. do something surrounding what I want to do. So hopefully I get that. Valid. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I think. So when I grew up, I wanted to be a firefighter. I don't know where and how. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, the first time I saw a firefighter truck uh. in Pretoria was two days ago. I don't know how this happened. But anyways, um, I wanted to be a firefighter. And then throughout high school, like beginning phase, like grade nine, I was like, you know what? No, I want to be a fashion designer. I want to like design clothes. I want people to wear my clothes. I got discouraged by my parents because, you know, in, in this, this economy, economy yeah. like the most um, viable thing to do. Like, it's not like the most securing thing to do yeah. as sure. well. So I was like, okay, fine. Let us do art. Okay, so I had a passion for art. I still do. I still like go out with my like creative endeavors and stuff. But I was like, you know what? Let's go completely opposite to everything. I'm going to be a doctor. All right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be a doctor. Let's do life science, science. Let's do physics, math, everything. everything. Get to uni, I did not go through, or doctor, uh, or like just learning to do medicine, I was like, fine, we'll do genetics, and that's where I'm at right now, that's what I really, really love, that's what I want to like pursue, and what I want to have is my career, so yeah, I had three, I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to be a firefighter, I wanted to be a doctor, but I'm pretty close to one of those kind of, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So it's not exactly where you want to be, but... Not exactly, but I'm happy it planned out that way. Because, like, realizing it now, I'm just like, I would have never survived being a doctor. First of all, I like being in the sun, so they work all the time. Well, it would never work for me. <laughs> I would be so depressed. And I don't think I'd put that much effort into that career, now mm-hmm. looking at it. I like my free time. I like going out and doing my own stuff. Being a doctor wouldn't help me and wouldn't let me do that at all yeah at all yeah that's wild i don't know man when it comes to me yeah i want it to be everything mm. i think for me as a as a child i don't know if it was me being naive or what but i was very or ignorant maybe but like i just wanted i was just living man if i was breathing i just wanted to understand why i'm breathing mm. really <laughs> and then i think growing up man i just wanted to be anything i saw i wanted to be a power ranger i wanted to be a chef <laughs> I wanted to be anything I saw. 
Um, so I think the first time I was asked, what do you want to be when you grow up, was in grade two. And I remember the week before we asked that question, I remember asking my uncle what he did. And then he said, engineer. And then he would, she would write in our lo- notebooks for us because they couldn't spell like that. And then she wrote engineer. But I didn't really know what an engineer was. I was just like, oh, my uncle's doing it. You know, it was just the next best thing at the time. Yeah. And so, I mean, I, being young, man, I just, I was that kind of kid who did everything. So grade four, um, I had started dancing, had started doing a couple more sports. And then I realized I was really into like the, the art stuff, also do, like doing drama classes. So grade four, I dressed up as a dancer for career day. Mm. People like, oh, why are you dress? I remember I was wearing pink shirt, some nice like black jeans, uh, like three quarter ones. Oh, uh, I used to wear three quarter vibes, and then these nice black and um, pink sneakers I got. Oh, mm. yeah. Anyway, I dressed up as a dancer, and then I don't know. Over time, I mean, that kind of conflicted as well because apparently that couldn't be a career. Yeah. And then grade seven, I dressed up as a businessman slash pastor. <laughs> No, yeah, you know, and I really believe that came in suit heavy. I remember even my the kids. Yeah, no, <laughs> listen, the shoes I had even had a cross on it, man. They were like, "Oh, I'm giving businessman preacher yeah. advice." I'm like, "Yeah." I gave my presentation. I'm like, "Yeah." From Monday to Saturday, I'm running a business. Sundays, I'm preaching the word. Amen. Oh, you know, it was hectic, but I think. The business part of me was just struck because of um, a guy named Saul Kasner. He's the guy, he passed away now, um, but he ran the Sun Hotel, so Sun International. Mm. Yeah, that was, that was him. Yeah. So I really loved the way he thought about um, hospitality and stuff. And I remember being a kid and telling my mom, I want to do that. And I want to be, my competitor is that guy. Mm. Everything I'm going to do, he did, I'm going to do opposite. So he, he did Sun, I'm going to do Moon City. Yeah, ah. Sun City. <laughs> <laughs> No, but at the time, I I was just really inspired by him, you know, and that's where the business um, idea came from. But I still want to pursue, right now, that was me then, right now, um, I think I'm more in tune with the the art stuff that I want to do, which is dancing, um, presenting, acting, that thing. And then I still want to have a business mindset. So Mm. the Skyline Media, um, which is the, what I call the production making of my channel and this podcast is through that. So the business element is still there. I still want to do a lot more in business. So yeah. I want to do everything. Not but everything. In, yeah, yeah, but now it's more niche. Yeah, With yeah. the business, I do want to be more, more involved in the hospitality space, but not like own a hotel, more like own a restaurant. Ah. So it's more like kind of watered down because it's not the main thing. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like if I'm not 100% focused on there, it's just not going to do well. Whereas yeah. with the vision I have, I mean, it's also not going to be solely on me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be like maybe getting somebody who did culinary and be like, hey, let's start a restaurant together. I'll invest, you do the, the menu and whatnot, and let's figure out how we work. So it's not going to necessarily me be going through the ins and outs yeah, of the whole business. Yeah. So I can see you doing that, hey? Right. I really do. Oh, don't make me I blush. Do that. blush is in Italian. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but that's me like now. But obviously, we'll see as time goes. Mm-hmm. And um, I think being young, I wanted to say like the odd things. Like what where I'm at now was where maybe I wanted to be. I just didn't have the knowledge. The means and knowledge. Yeah, to figure that out. And I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying I'm gonna make rag. God, please. But yeah. hopefully yeah. one day yeah. it, yeah. it, it, it does. Space. The critical space is very hard to yeah to start earn. earning money. Yeah. 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 Not easy. But are we here? So, yeah. Yeah. Start. So, so with that, that being said, obviously all of us here we had the privilege to go to varsity or yeah. are going to varsity. So I'm still studying personally. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately. You Dan, I wanna know from you. Obviously you your your most of your experience has been uh during COVID. How was that for you? To some degree it was pretty much I was happy about it. I think um, I foc- the focus, um, it gave me time to focus more on the, on the school anywhere, anytime. Mm-hmm. So I could go to, the, to, to, a, to a, a cafe and I'll still do work there. I'll still do, be in class there. I can go, I was traveling, going on holidays during class, <laughs> on the road, in class. So that was pretty much, I enjoyed that a lot. But I think the downside about it was that it it started stripping away the social side of me it started stripping away i i started now being 
in my own space, enjoying my own space. Because I, I, I never used to want to be in my own space. Yeah. I want to be around people. So now I started stripping that away slowly, slowly. And then we only started going back to school when in my final year, second semester. Mm-hmm. So that's, but then I, I knew people. I went to, the time that COVID started, started in March. So I had only a month of socializing, finding people to chill with and all that. So I did that. I did find a set of people to chill with, to talk to, um, get to know and all that, which was good. I, I'm glad I did that because now when I was going through my second year, when we were, to, when we were not together, we would still talk about school, we would still yeah. talk about things outside of school as well, even in my third year. So then we went, when we went, went back to school in second um, semester, um, it was just a hey, how was your day? <laughs> it was not how was your year. How was yeah. your, because we knew each other, we spoke to each other and all that. So yeah, I think it was a blessing and a bit of a tussle, let's yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, crazy. And what I about have you? A question though, I have a question for you. How did you go about like maintaining those relationships? That mm. for me, that was so difficult. Even with the people I knew, like prior to that. To like just make sure that I'm always checking up on people, that they're also checking up on me. So like, how did you go about like making sure that hey, I'm still talking to you and you're not like to yourself, like you said. I think for me, it went back to it must be a mutual thing. Mm. I cannot be the one texting, texting, <laughs> hi, 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 yeah. every single week and not get something in return because you know I'm also, I also want to be checked on. Yeah. You also need to check. I'm also going to check up on you. So with that, it was more of if I was if you were checking up on me, I was checking up on you, and I believe it was vice versa for them as well mm-hmm. that they would also check up on me. So the maintenance was not too bad. The people that didn't talk to me ah, uh, it's over now. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. You? The question. The question. Yes. What was the question? <laughs> the question was. Your oh, yeah, your varsity experience. Ah. Yeah, during. Uh, COVID, because most of it was during COVID. Yeah. yeah, I had a very similar experience to you. Like most of it was in COVID. I did like my second semester last year, in well around people, so that was really nice. I hated it though because I am a social person. Like I struggled. I'm not even gonna lie because once you're like alone, you're thinking about yourself and only you, and like you stop thinking about a whole lot of other things. I mean, yes, it's great to like focus on yourself, but like if you're not like physically with people that you love being around and you enjoy being around, like with myself, like I love my family and everything, but it would have been nice to see other people. Yeah. Other than that, like I was stuck yeah. in quotation marks with them. So yeah, um, in terms of academics, I did do well. I did a lot better than um I did prior to like COVID. But I could never swap physical academics in school and uni out for COVID. I I can't. Do you prefer the online or Oh definitely in person. Really? Definitely online. I think so I think so as well. I think (laughs) it's it's very nice to do stuff at your own time. But also you need accountability with that. That was really nice. You need accountability with that because now you have to we have to now um sit, do your work at the time that you've chosen and complete that work not someone is running after you hey come to you then do this and, and you have time but was they re- was they really a difference let's be honest between online and going because I, I think for me the difference were you talking in class in those um in those zoom meetings and teams no you're quiet yeah yes, you knew what nothing but that's <laughs> exactly but here, here's my chat i think for me maybe it's because the the i preferred online because why because of the convenience of it but regardless of the convenience i think i was more disciplined in knowing if i plan out my day i know f- from eight to four i'm doing this mm. and even in between mm. so for me it was fine because i could plan out my day proper mm. now when i go to school woo, woo, <laughs> so many inconveniences because the lecture i could have maybe two lectures mm. and then they can both be cancelled on that day i made my way to campus yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Or how the lecturer, because then she's not feeling well. Shame. Some days things happen. I understand. But now you're going to give me a 10-minute lecture. Bro! What and do you then mean? Into yeah. And then I must read. I must yeah. do more readings. Are you so mad? Sad. Or go, go make an appointment for consultation. Yeah. Now, yeah. Bro, hard even. Yeah. So I think I waste more time going physically there. So that for me, I would prefer online any day. Mm. 
because online was great because I could curate my time. I could curate when I'm doing my assignment, listening to class. If I don't like what she's saying, I skip. If I miss something, I can go back. Okay, Everything was I, so yeah, convenient. Yeah, I that. You get me. Mm. Whereas with there, bro, I, yo, I don't feel bad, nah. But there was there was a really a time where classes were just like I didn't understand why I was going to class. Half the time I was falling asleep. Like I wasn't like sleeping, sleeping, but I was catching these, bro. I was on some. The next shake. Bro, the I'm, even if you're taking notes, bro, no, it wasn't happening for me. I so that's why for with, with online it works because everything is there. Mm. And if I miss something, I can go listen back and take that note or whatever. So I don't know. That's true. So many more pros and cons for me. That's true. That's, that's true. why I'm shocked that people are like, no, I like on campus. I'm like, no, you just like vibes. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it requires discipline. Yeah. Being online requires a lot of discipline. I don't think I entirely had that. And that's why I would have rather had um, to go on campus because then there is um, people I can go to and ask questions instead of mm. online talking mm. to people online on Teams. Ah. But I think also. I don't talk. I keep quiet. Yeah. Even if I don't understand, I keep quiet. But you had WhatsApp. The lecturer will be like, hi, can you guys hear me? Dude, people won't talk. <laughs> That's so fair. how am I learning? It's that's so hard. You learn it's more self study. It's a lot of self study yeah, when you're when it's online. Yeah, that's why I'd rather prefer on campus. Yeah. yeah. But then I feel like you not having discipline the whole time. That's fair. You're human. Like you weren't used to this. So mm. like to have like full on a hundred percent discipline the whole time. It's kind of crazy. If you ask me. Like you have to be yeah. Superman or someone who is already <laughs> used to this. Done. No, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting me wrong. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying that um, I was completely disciplined. Mm. I was just more disciplined. Mm. And even my marks can show for it. Like, mm. they were better when I was online than I was in, on campus. Was it not controlled? Huh? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Mm. It wasn't. Guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, it was, it was just that convenient. Mm. Yeah, like everything. Like, my time was just curated well. Because even then, I was, still doing, I was still doing the things I was doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then what's stopping you from doing that now, too? Because, like, you actually have the schedule. of like. No, the stuff. schedule does help, but it just takes more time. It's so, like, bathing, mm. getting to places, oh, transport. Like, hmm? COVID. There were some days I didn't. Uh, yeah, so, uh, thank you, Jesus, for the day. Uh, get to join class, and then you bath at night. Get, you know no, what I'm saying? Get, 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 oh, I'm not going to lie. Wait, that was... Hmm? Did you just go and answer that? No, you both oh. at night. Hey, man, hey, uh, respect me. Clean, <laughs> clean boys. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it was just that thing where it was like, there was getting ready and doing stuff just took less time when I was at home. Mm. Whereas when I have to go to places, it takes more time. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. I think. That's just me on that. My varsity experience was online, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, so it was really just that that second semester of last year where it was on campus and I hated it. Yeah. Probably gonna hate it. Y'all went the too. whole of second semester on, on campus. Yeah. Yeah, the whole. Yeah. It was like once, twice a week. Really? Yeah. Literally, I was going to campus because I was, it, there was a module that required group work. So, oh. if, so, we chose, so yeah, if we chose to not go on campus and meet as a group, we'd be online. So my whole yeah, much, actually my whole my whole degree was online. Yeah. Except the times I was going on tough. I, also on thing. that, do you do you think personally? I think that um, there's not really much of a difference in terms of being online and in campus with the knowledge. I think it's it still is highly or like a large portion of it is just dependent on you mm. and the work you do. So mm. I want to know for you guys, do you think there's a difference? Like, maybe when you were on campus, you, 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 you got more? Or... I, I think, yes. I am for on campus, like I already said. Because, like, in class, you're, like, more interactive. You listen to the lecture. You can't, like, go back and rewind 50 seconds to, like, really listen to what they're saying. So you know that you're in there to learn and to listen. And you're also taking notes. I don't know if you guys took notes while you were doing this. Oh, like, I tried. Oh, I tried. You see, like... During COVID, I would, like, sweep and, like, listen to the lecture, not really paying attention to what she's saying. But, like, because I'm in class and I have to listen and she's not going to re-say this, I'm absorbing it a lot better. And I know that, hey, I can't just, like, write online and, like, find my way through, if you know what I mean. I like, I'm going to be tested on this, so I need to know this. So, yes, you learn 
not better, but you absorb things better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like actually six. And I also think with the lecturers, um, they were very lazy. Slides. Yes. Deep Online, they were f- quite lazy. They just use slides. Yeah. Li- slides from that they used three, three years, years ago yeah. for <laughs> us. Yeah. So they were, they were very lazy about the, the work that they were giving us. Yeah. And again, yes, um, with the interactiveness, there was no interactiveness online, but there's more interaction when you're with, when you're with the lecturer. And also the lecturer then sits down with herself and curates for the class mm-hmm. online, for, for the people um, on campus. He'll create only for the people on campus. So yeah. Valid. All right, moving on with the chat. Um, now, when you speak of, you know, your varsity experience and your dreams, for you guys, they correlate, right? What you want to be is sort of way what you're pursuing. Mm. Me, semi, 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 semi. You know? <laughs> so I want to know how, what advice do you have for maybe people who um, are starting the year, maybe their parents told them, when are you going to be doctor? Or the others who are like, I'm going to pursue what I want. That's what I want to do. You don't care. Like, obviously, there's pros and cons to both yeah. vibes. Uh, but you guys are in industries where it's nice. Let's be honest. Really, not the content, but like, you know, it's nice. <laughs> like, you're kind of secure. <laughs> right? But I want to yeah. know from you guys, like, yeah, what are some advices you would give and things that you've learned? Okay. Yeah. Can I Can I yeah. go? You're not there for your parents also, ne? So, like, if you applied for something because your parents told you to and you don't genuinely like it, please go change because you cannot be studying for your parents. You're the one who's going to actually have to, like, follow through with the career. That's point number one. Advice number two, you don't have to have it all figured out, eh? Mm. Like, with myself, I really thought I was going to go to school and do medicine, but it turns out I don't want to do it anyways. I just wanted this, not the status. But, like, I really didn't want to do it, so... If you don't know what you want to do as yet, it's okay. But like, don't like quit at that. Just try to figure out what you do want. Um, dabble into like the other faculties and see what they're offering, because you never know. Like you really never know. And if you do decide to change, that's okay too. Like you don't owe it to anyone to stick to something. If you know that you're gonna be miserable, change it. Yeah, yeah. How far back are we advising? Hey, hey, however far back you want to go. I think one thing I wish I did um, very early, like high school, was have someone to mentor me. Mm. I think I low-key needed that. Um, so that, of course, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew that from like grade 11, sort of where I want to go, that I'm dead set on doing um, computer science. Um but I think also, there's also other things that I am interested in. I'm interested in the creative side of stuff. Yeah. Um, how are they going? To, maybe they could have assisted in finding something for me that could combine the two mm. for me to do. So if maybe I had someone with external knowledge to, to give me so that I can then decide on a career path that would suit me and will be all-rounded, you know, in terms of the stuff I wanted. So mentorship, I I. Yeah, mentorship in high school and mentorship in, in uni. I think it is very important. Also, familiarizing yourself with lecturers and so that they can assist you, especially in the degree that you're doing. I think it's very great to have the lecturers be mentoring you from early, from early first year, yeah. second year. You, I think it's it's um quite important, especially if you you don't entirely have it all together, which you really don't need yeah. to have it all together. They can assist in filling in where you don't know. They may have a little bit of more knowledge than you do. In you saying that, do you perhaps maybe blame the schooling system and as well as maybe your your parents for not serving as that um, guide? Yeah, Loki. Um, I th- I th- I I do bl- blame. Do I blame? Hold them accountable. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I hold them accountable for maybe not investing in I th- okay let me, now i'm speaking only on my parents i think uh, they they could have invested a little bit more on the nurturing part of stuff nurturing the what you thought you wanted to do and also even if you didn't want to do it um, it's okay like i used to do piano i stopped piano but they were there to help they they mm-hmm. allowed me to do it i used to do swimming i stopped swimming 
but they were there to help me they allowed me to do that now i know i don't want to do it anymore so i think they some parents just need to nurture their kids dreams yeah. and what they want to pursue be, it, it doesn't have to be being at the every single thing that they're at because you'll grow yeah, of course. and all that um but pitching in doing a little bit to help out where they can't mm. it would be great mm. and on the schooling side um i believe some universities definitely do give like the the they they help out where they can um but some universities might um, <laughs> I only figured out I only I had to find stuff for myself that they could have gi- they could have shown me mm. like there was stuff that were helping with CV stuff with employment stuff like that and I only was able to find these things in my final year mm-hmm. when they could have shown it to me from my first year and guided me through from my first year but yeah I guess they didn't do so I had to do it myself but yeah, those, those um, what is it, um, mentorship and nurturing, parents need to nurture. Mm. All right, that's all we have for today. Nice. Any last words for the people, just to wrap it up? Yeah, don't do what your parents would want you to do. Mm. Do what you want, really. Mm. Of course, they're playing your, your school or whatnot, but at the end of the day, um, it all went down to you. And um, you're going to be doing that for most of your life. Mm. Um, so do what you really want to do, not what your parents want to do. And also have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy yourself at uni. Yeah. Stay true to yourself. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of information about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of people can sway your mindset, but like stay true to who you are. Don't try to do things to impress people. Don't try to spend money you don't have <laughs> to chance. impress people or to like make, make it, it seem as if you're yourself. someone else. But, but like, like stay, stay true, true to yourself, yourself. Stay, stay true to your morals, and I, I think you'll be good. good. You'll be good if you like stick to that. Yeah. Yeah, man. My last words is take it one day at a time, man. Nobody's got to figure it out. Nobody's got it figured it out. Yeah, so Khoa, Tusa. Yeah. Thank you. Nobody's got it figured <laughs> out. You know you, right? So I think just take it one day at a time, and as time goes, you will. Because I think also as much as um, we're saying pursue what you want, that has to also do with opportunity and stuff like that. And maybe you're forced to do so something you don't like, but I'd say look at the pros and not the cons. So see the blessing and not the curse. And by you looking at it that way, then you'll figure out how you can make what you perceive as a curse a blessing someday. Because you never know what skill or what knowledge you may need in your future. Like I said, everybody doesn't have it figured out. We don't know where we'll end up. So whatever knowledge you gain, just rock with it. Even if it's hard work and depressing Mm. and all that. (laughs) Be realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Be very realistic. And also be open-minded to some things. Something. This. <laughs> I'm dead. That's another chat for another day. You know? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this uh, podcast episode, give us a five star. Give it a like. Share. Do the nice things. And until next time, thank you. Peace.